Karls Pug Demont, the region's elected president, had been expected to make the declaration to unilaterally split from Spain at the meeting, but a huge weekend show of opposition to Catalan independence had cast doubt on whether he would go ahead with such a provocative move. Adding pressure, neighboring France said Monday it would not recognize an independent Catalonia, and independence would result in automatic expulsion from the European Union. However despite such moves, thousands of separatists are expected to show up at the parliament in Barcelona to show support for the plan, and to call on Puigdemont to honor his commitments to the pro-independence movement. Spain was plunged into political uncertainty last week following a divisive and controversial referendum on October 1 that found a majority of Catalan voters in favor of independence for the wealthy, northeastern region of Spain. Madrid declared the referendum illegal and Spanish police tried to shut the vote down by firing rubber bullets and pulling voters from polling booths in scenes that shocked many across Europe. Catalonia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Raúl Roí Baruta, told News Total's Nima El Badger that the Catalan side has long wanted to negotiate a fair bargain with the Spanish state. What we have always demanded is a political dialogue. The opportunity to practice democracy to allow everybody to express themselves. We want to talk, we need to negotiate. The problem is nobody's listening from the Spanish state side. He said that the Catalan government has invited international mediation and called for dialogue. We say, we are ready, we want to go to the negotiating table. We are ready to start talks. If, the central government has, an offer to make we are very much keen to listen to them. PM, Spain will not be divided, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy said he was determined to prevent a breakaway by the northeastern province in the wake of the October 1 vote. Spain will not be divided, and the national unity will be preserved. To this end, we will employ all the means we have within the law. It is up to the government to make decisions, and to do so at the right moment, Rajoy said in an interview with German newspaper Die Welt on Monday. As many as 90% of respondents in that poll voted in favor of independence from Madrid, but the result was not as decisive as it appeared, turnout was only 43%. What's at stake? The stakes are high for both Spain and Europe if Catalonia chooses to break away. Catalonia accounts for nearly a fifth of Spain's economy, and leads all regions in producing 25% of the country's exports, news total money reports. It contributes much more in taxes, 21% of the country's total, than it gets back from the central government. The prospect of an independent Catalonia has already prompted two major banks and some other businesses to move their registered headquarters to other parts of Spain. There is more at stake for Madrid than losing wealth. The country has 17 regions with varying degrees of autonomy, and losing one may inspire others to begin, or revive separatist movements. But there are many other unanswered questions, including continued membership in the European Union. If forced to apply independently for EU membership, Catalonia would have to convince all of the bloc's current members, including Spain, to agree. And if Catalonia became an independent state, it would not automatically be a World Trade Organization member, so would likely face stiff trade barriers that would hurt its economy. France, we wouldn't recognize independent states speaking on French TV Monday, Nathalie Loisseau, France's Minister of European Affairs, said the French government would not recognize an independent Catalonia. If independence were to be recognized, which is not something that's being discussed, the most immediate consequence would be that, Catalonia, automatically left the European Union, said Loisseau. Spanish Deputy Prime Minister Soraya Sanz de Santa Maria said in an interview on Spanish radio that the government would invoke powers to take control of the regional government if Catalonia went ahead and declared independence. Barcelona Mayor Ada Colau, however, urged the government to refrain from invoking the never-before-used Article 155, which allows Madrid to take over autonomous regions. Escalation will not benefit anyone, she said urging both sides to begin dialogue with each other and for Rajoui to be responsible and listen to the people, and to roll back the police force that was dispatched to the region ahead of the vote.
Colau said Spain was amid its worst institutional crisis since democracy began and said Spain's political representatives should find a solution that is inclusive and up to standards we have been living.